Oh uh, yeah, so my talk is about my library at HTM Reads or Google Reads on the web. Uh, sorry, I forgot. Um, uh, so, well, uh, my library is about like scanning, it, like input, inputting values. So like what we do today, we have I/O streams. We have like if we want to read from student, we have like an index string, and we can do that. I mean, but that's really slow to compile. I mean, like overload resolution is like really awful in there. It's gonna take ages comparing to like something else. And the problem is that uh, that's like internationalization with that. It's like how you can reorder those. I mean, like, and the, it's like really clunky. And scan, like scanf. I mean, I couldn't come up with any solution how to like uh, read a dynamic string with scanf. If someone knows, then but that was the only solution that I could come up with. So like I have like this a bold statement that SCN is to input what FMT is to output. This like I don't know if that's true, but whatever. Um, <laughs> uh, so uh, this is what I have. So some of you may recognize this like syntax from FMT if you use that. So I have an int and a string. I have this format string, and I I pass stuff to that, and that SCN input is going to read. Uh, from student in, and uh, I have I have like a stream concept I guess it's not C plus anymore whatever uh, that I can like pass something to this make stream function and it's gonna do the right thing, and I can read from like a string literal or a student string or a file descriptor or student i stream. It's not like student i stream though. I mean, don't confuse it with that. It's not gonna return a student i stream. It's just like Call stream, and I can pass stream into SCN scan, and it's going to read, do the right thing. Uh, with ranges, uh, it's going to work. Right now, it's going to go only going to work with range with three. So I can pass a range to SCN ranges scan, and it's going to skip all that stream stuff. I don't know, and uh, well. Some feature like overview, no Chevron hell, and uh, <laughs> I'm gonna come to that. Uh, type safe, yeah, fast-ish. I haven't like paid any attention to that yet. Like, but optionally header only if you like that. Well, there's that exception free. I mean, yeah, that's so it's gonna it's sort of like returns unexpected, like my implementation was really horrible. Uh, work for C plus plus eleven or if you want to use ranges, it needs C plus plus fourteen, and uh, it also has like scanf like syntax. If you want to like port your old old kind of like code to this, it's like a stepping stone. And std local, I mean, if you can call that internationalization support, I don't know. Um, so little benchmarking, I haven't like paid any attention to like making this fast yet. I mean, this is really new, but basically, like, it's really easy to beat IO streams. Like, I have like a stupid integer reading algorithm. I made it IO streams, like, like that. Double, even better. Okay, it, it loses on string, but wide string is like better. And scanf was like one to two orders of magnitude slower for some reason. I, in all of these cases, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or. It is very much possible, but I need, I mean, like, I need to look into that. Uh, th these are from May 3rd this year, so like a week ago, I think. And uh, yeah, it's going to be optimized in the, for in the future. <coughs> so uh, there's that. So go into, look into it and do something. Uh, you have a question. I. Uh, I'm um, like you were you on Lisa's talk today. Uh, she actually touched on that. Um, the problem is that you would only like you can only read a single value at a time. Yeah, but you can only read a single value at a time in that case.
because like, well, time's up. But, uh,